What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part. We we got a uh, we got back to Toad Town and did some more tasty recipes. We bought all the remaining badges from Ralph also. We don't need any more badges from him. So I guess what else we can do is uh, we can just tackle some of the remaining side quests. But um first of all, the first thing we're going to do is an optional boss. I think that's the first thing we're gonna do. So we're gonna we're gonna fight an optional boss. So um, now we might not be able to beat him. The we, we're into a very I have a very we're gonna place the down down for power bounce. But um, if we just talk about our, what hole, boy, I was about to ask, but can see Koopa's blocking it. It appears he is quite strong. I see a strong brute indeed. There's a trick of a sticky wicket. That's not I can do. Only for action for me is to search for a secret passage to Koopa Village. Yeah, this is an optional boss, but this is also one of the hardest fights in the game. And let's just say, I use a very specific strategy, so uh, let's just see how this goes. Hey, you in the hat, wait. It's fine weather, isn't it? My name is Ken C. Koopa. Please remember it, okay? If you want to use this road, you need to pay me 100 coins. Sorry, that's how it is. If you don't pay, don't pass. Coins make the world go round. It's all about the money. If you want to fight, you're nuts. Let me know, cream you. Because, to be frank, I'm very, very strong. You sure you want to fight? Fight. Well, I have no choice. I warned you, though. This may hurt a little bit. Now, you might wonder how I'm going to how I'm gonna beat this guy with 15 HP. Because, like, he can do an attack that's 10 HP. And on top of that, he can also, on top of that, injure party members. So, what I like to do is use Lullaby because it actually works on him. It's not, it's not a guarantee it'll work on him. But if we can get it to work, we'll have a much easier time with this fight. Yeah, we got it to work. So, um... And I picked Watt as my partner, even though she's not ultra rank, she still does consistent four damage because like he has a lot of defense. So um, we're just gonna get him on his belly. We're just gonna get him on his belly first. But um, first of all, we're gonna take some take some more damage. I'm not sure if we will get him during the cycle, but uh, you don't attack the shell. Attack his tail with a power bounce. And that did a decent amount of damage. He has 70 HP also, so we might have to lullaby a second time. I might even have to swap out. Like, I think I might have to use, like, Goombario to get him on his belly so we can, uh, power bounce his ass. Well, if we get in danger stress now, we can probably get back, probably get back, um, I think a couple more power bounces should do it. And Goombaro, do your turn. All right, he's gonna he's gonna go up. So um, as long as he doesn't injure party arms, no, no, no. All right, we we're, we're Goombario, get him on his back. Now one more power bounce should take him out. All right, that's it. We still didn't get a level up out of that, unfortunately. Wow, you must be really strong. You're beating a guy my size. I just have to get up. See you later. Now we can we can get the now we can go to Pleasant Path again. But um, there's a better way to get to the village anyway. But I just want to take care of that boss fight. Now uh, let's read some of the let's read some letters. Uh, yeah, let's read some letters. See, we have one for Goombario from Gooma. Here you go. Dear Goombario, how are you, my cute Goombario? We, we, we're all doing fine here. I hope your title abilities finally become useful. Stop by whenever you get the chance. We all miss you. Good luck, my little Gooma. I'm thinking of you, Gooma. For more letters, we got one for Bomat. From Bruce. Here you go. Bomat, you must return to me, Ophir and Kumpas Kambasu Obama. My heart always waits to Akuma Village. Burns like a fuse. I will love you forever if you reject me. My level and door. If I don't see you soon, I'll show you the spells. Please hurry. You're igniting my passion. Come back to me, my love. You're Bruce. All right. Read more letters. We got one for Bo. And we got one from Bootler. To Lady Bo, please return as quickly as possible. I cannot shake the image of you in some sort of danger. I'm so worries me that I, no, I can no longer sleep. When you got, went with Mario, you told me not to go with you. 
But right now I regret my obedience. I should have gone anyway and protect you from harm. Now I can do is wish to the stars that with the other booze that you return safely. Please take care of Bootler. And we got what? We got one for what? From Fuzzipede. Your what? I'm still kick. Well, I'm still kicking. I ain't gonna bait no more. I reckon I appreciate the help of you and your buddies. This here letter is be my thanks. We're even already. Anyway, do good luck with doing what y'all do. Don't be bothered with me ever again, Fuzzy Bead. Those are all the letters we have like, yet to read, so, um. This is another thing we can kind of do, but first, let's do a badge check. First of all, let's get rid of Mega Quake, because we don't need it for now, but let's also. Let's pull out an HP plus, we have 20 HP. Actually, um. Yeah, this should be good. So let's, get rid, let's get rid of Spike Shield and Refund and replace that with another HP plus. Because we're gonna try that uh, fight at the dojo again. But first of all, we're gonna heal. But we are gonna try that fight at the dojo again. I think I can beat him this time because I I am overall stronger than I was last time we beat him. So um, I've, I've gotten HP up a bit and I've gotten even... So like, um, what we're gonna do is apparently, um, we're gonna try to see if we can use danger strats to basically finish him off, is uh, what I'm trying to say. And we'll even center attack. So we're, we, we already read the dialogue, but uh, we're gonna try to see, um, unfortunately though, we'll have, to, we'll have to use our life from also, but um, remember this guy has 99 HP, his, this is his strongest form, but um, All right, so um, we're gonna try to see if we can get uh get get him a bit Mario in peril. I almost forgot to uh, where's we'll get our attack up even further. But we're all I also forgot to use a chill out. So um, yeah, I forgot to use a chill, and that probably was a fatal mistake. Let's use Electro Dash because it's guaranteed four damage. I like using Watt. Watt's probably my favorite party member to use. All right, we're in we're in danger. So um, fortunately though, I don't have a uh, probably gonna have to use our Light Strum, but um. Fuck, I, I don't know how I'm gonna think this through. We have to hope for luck. Well, uh, we survived. If I block another one of his attacks, I end up in peril. So uh, we're gonna try to see if we can maybe, I think one more power bound should finish him off. It's all or nothing. It's either we die or he does. We're in peril. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have enough for another um we have enough for another power bounce. We're going to finish him off. 8 7 6 5. Oh yeah. Hmm, Noble Mario, you have bested me, the master, the strongest of fighters. Since you have beaten me at the my soul trench, I give you this with respect. And we get the diploma. That's the last we can really do in the Toad Town Dojo. So, um, I guess all that we really have left to do are Kensi, or uh, not Kensi Koopa, Koopa Koop favors. So I guess that's all we really have to, that's really all we really have to do in this, uh, left in the, uh, pre-chapter, uh, six side quests. But, um, yeah, we're gonna do some Kensi. We're gonna do some not Ken. I keep saying Kensi Koopa. We're gonna do some Koopa Koop favors because we gotta get. We might as well get them out of the way. We're just we're just going straight to Koopa Village so we can um basically get the Kensi Koopa favors out of the way. Not, I keep fucking saying Kensi Koopa. It doesn't help that we just fought him, but um, what does uh Koopa Koop have to say? 
Give me a favor. Yes. All right. We only ask favors, but um, misplaced my glasses. So they're somewhere in Koopa Village. I think I know where they are. In one of these bushes. One of these bushes. Or in one of these bushes. One of these bushes. Or in one of these bushes. One of these bushes. One of these bushes. One of these bushes. There they are. Glasses. So might as well give them the Koopa Coot. Like I said, I like to do them periodically in between my others. Ignore the barking, by the way. Glasses. Let's give them the Ko Koopa Goot. All right, so here we go. And we get, um, we got a coin. So, so, um, you need a pick me up. A fresh lime. I'll see you guys in a second. But first, some Chuck Wisma action. First, we have to we have to do this first. I mean, we can only use bomb. We have the star piece. All right, so we got thirty-seven questions so far. Whatever remaining Chuck Quizma ones, I'll just hunt them all down before chapter eight. That's how I usually approach playthroughs. By the way, there's a hidden. By the way, there's a hidden life stream over here in this area, and I never mentioned it in chapter two, but um Yeah, there's the lime. Now back to Kent now back to Koopa Coot. Oh yes! We haven't had him to spawn here in a while. Alright, what's the question? What is Gourmet Guy like? Cake! 38 questions, and I think I'm gonna trace them in Goomba Village as well, so, um... I think I'll trace them in Goomba Village. Let's get 39 down. It's been a while since we had some Chuck Quizmo action. There we are. What's your question this time, Chuck Quizmo? Question, what is the second companion joining King? That is Cooper. And I recorded that part a good month ago. Like, I don't know if you're telling, I don't know if you can tell, but this is like, um, this is like, uh, this is being recorded weeks. I mean, I'm t we're talking weeks in advance. Like, this is like two, this is being recorded two weeks in advance when you're seeing this part, because let's just say I have a little trip to go to in April that I don't think is really any of your business. But, uh, I'll make a community post about it either way, but, uh. Did I just go the wrong way? Not the complete wrong way. I'm not going to Tasty. See, I've done too many Tasty or three of the past two chapters. I'm just so used to going to her. We don't even have any of those. Um, but let's just uh, give the lime to Koopa, to Koopa Koot. He's going to give us three star pieces and one more. So he has three per chapter, but... um. A cookie cookie. This is why I recommend putting that in the uh, shop, but uh, we just have to grab that in the shop and we're done with the Koopa Koot favors. We're all, believe it or not, we only have one more chapter. We have to do Koopa Koot favors. We just have to claim the uh, cookie cookie that we got from Tasty. Actually, what does Colorado have to say? Well, I'm back in the village. You're trying to... I didn't read that properly. Well, I'm back in the village. It's rather nice, hey, old boy. Adventure's all well and good, but home is really tops. So stay here for a change. I've had just about enough of sitting around worrying and waiting for your return. Hmm. Oh, yes, of course. Well, uh -huh. Tell the channel's who they'll be. I'm interested in searching for the lost place in the north. But uh, mom's mom's the word as far as the wife's concerned. Let's just give that cookie cookie to uh Koopa Coot. And uh you get one coin. So that's about that's about the uh that's about the last of Koopa Coot favors in this uh chapter. So um Yeah, we got all the side quests down before chapter six. But first, let's just do one. We need to pay a visit. We are gonna get Chuck Wismo. 
We're gonna need one last time. Let's, we're gonna read 40 before chapter six. There we go. What's your question this time, Chuck Quizmo? All right, who tries to steal questions? That doesn't that be a bandit. We got 40 questions. We got 24 more Chuck Quizmo quizzes, but any remaining Chuck Quizmo quizzes, I'll just like, uh, eventually before chapter eight, I'll just like dump all the, I'll just go Chuck Quizmo hunting for chapter eight. But, um, yeah, so, um, I guess we can, the last thing we can do in this part is kind of start heading towards the next chapter, which we, we learned in the peach interlude that we have to go to the flower garden. So, um, I guess, um, we, um, the bulbs come from a flower field land, field land called Flower Fields. They say the flowers in Flower Fields are in trouble. To get to Flower Fields, you need four kinds of seeds that only the bulbs po po possess. Where are the bulbs? Please, Mario, if you look, we also can the bulbs and get the seeds from them. Maybe Merlon's fortune teller can help you look. We have four of them. Wow, you bought me the seed. Thank you so much. Please, Mario. We need to see more. We need seeds from the bulbs. Wow, you brought me the seed. Thank you so much. Please, Mario. We need seeds from the more. We need seeds from the bulbs. Wow, you brought me the seed. Thank you so much. Please, Mario, we need to see some rolls, and there's the last one. Wow, you brought me the seed. Thank you so much. Hey, ya! At first, it just looked like the flowers were blooming, but suddenly a door appeared. You must be, you must be able to go to Flower Field from here. Please, Mario, Flower Field needs your aid. Please help. I'm gonna go through this door and it leads us now and then. Chapter six, Dark Days and Flower Fields. What ho, now who might that be? Ho, 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 ho. Up here, son. They call me the wise Wisterwood. I'm the oldest tree here in the flower fields. Land trees, flowers, grants me bliss. You know, you remind me a hell of a lot of the great Deku tree. I always thought that. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're, try you're trying to best save the Star Spirits from the rest of the world, aren't you? Very noble. If it's that is true, then your rival means the Star Spirits here in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas. I can all right now. Flowerfield is in trouble. A creature named Huff and Puff and his followers invaded our fair land not long ago. The creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky and it's been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course, it must be the star spirit that you're searching for. Oh, ho, is it, you're gonna defeat that wicked Huff and Puff then? Well, that makes the wishes of Flowerfields come true. But it's not that easy. Huffing Puff is up in the sky. We call it a cloudy climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if you found a magical bean or something like that grows high. Now, wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere, but I think believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she's off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bulbs around here might have some useful information as well. I say talk to everyone. I'm going to leave it off for this part of Paper Mario. So next time on Paper Mario, we are going to... um. See what the people are up to in flat see what the flowers are up to in flower fields. See you guys then.